year-round surfing. Tonight at 7. Proud to serve Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is WNEP 16, the news station. Now, Nolan Johannes, Karen Hart, Pilot Jack Rulin in Skycam 16, Chief Meteorologist Tom Clark, and Joe Zone on sports. This is Newswatch 16. Good evening. The green light has been given to drivers along the newest leg of the North Cross Valley Expressway. But with the opening of the new roadway came a lot of confusion. It began quietly enough. Local officials drove the first car, an antique auto, through the ribbon. It marks the opening of the expressway extension here in Luzerne County. There were a lot of people on hand to watch, but a lot more behind the wheel, waiting for PennDOT's go-ahead to start using the road. And this is what happened. The new road is supposed to take a lot of traffic away from the busy River Street Junction in Plains Township and direct that traffic to the east end section of Wilkesbury. Skycam 16 gives us a good idea of the new traffic pattern, but many drivers found out today there was trouble ahead. The whole idea behind the Cross Valley Expressway is stated in its name, an expressway. It's supposed to make traffic flow more smoothly, avoid congestion. Well, that's far from what happened when that north section of the Cross Valley opened today. Luckily, our Skycam 16 can avoid traffic jams and give us the best view of what it's like down on the ground. Some of you may have been trapped in all this traffic this afternoon. Now, if you take the Cross Valley to Cunningham Avenue in Wilkes-Barre, you hit a light. This is your first encounter with congestion. If you turn left on Cunningham and go up Kidder Street, you'll come to another light and more tie-ups, then on to problem spot number three, the intersection of Kidder and Scott Streets. Now this area going up to the Wyoming Valley Mall is normally congested and as you can see it was even worse today. And these pictures were taken between 2.30 and 3 o'clock this afternoon, some time before rush hour. You now know what kind of problems, or some of them anyway, that drivers face today along the Cross Valley. But some firemen are also concerned about the traffic jams. Newswatch 16's Dan Fiorucci is live near the expressway in Wilkesbury to fill us in. Dan? Nolan, fortunately right now things are clearing up. As you can see, uh, Wilkesbury's Northeast Fire Station is right across the street from me. And between 4.30 and 5.30 this morning, uh, this afternoon, that intersection where the fire trucks come out was blocked. And I mean stone cold blocked by traffic. Now you can see the problem here and you'll see more. Fire officials say that the uh, problem is caused by this stop here on red sign. They say that if that were placed about another 50 feet back, it would help matters a lot. It would provide fire trucks with more room to move in and out of the driveway. Now, according to Fire Chief William Mills, PennDOT workers have refused to move the sign back. They say they want the uh, paperwork completed before they can move that sign. And in the meantime, Fire Chief Mills says that uh, uh, there is an increased danger to life and to property whenever cars uh, do block that intersection. Now, a policeman has been placed on the corner here because of a failed traffic light, but as you can see from Skycam 16 late this afternoon, that wasn't much help. Fortunately, things are clearing up right now, but during the morning and evening rush hours, there is going to be a problem here at the corner of Wilkesbury and Coningham, and uh, we're hoping that the situation with the firehouse in the near future will be cleared up. Dan Fiorucci, Newswatch 16, reporting live from Wilkes-Barre. Thank you, Dan. The opening of the stretch of the Cross Valley Expressway went off with a major hitch, as Dan said. A microchip that controls the traffic lights went haywire, creating a huge traffic jam at Cunningham Avenue. Newswatch 16's Bob Reynolds reports that PennDOT insists it tested the lights before the road opened. While officials attending the opening ceremony left for a victory lunch, motorists were getting their first taste of the multi-million dollar North Cross Valley Expressway. I think it's pretty bad there. I've been sitting here about 20 minutes and only moved about 15 feet. How long have you been waiting in line, sir? About 15 minutes. What do you think of this? I think it's dumb. The traffic backed up for a quarter mile and tempers began to flare in part because of an electrical problem with the traffic lights. Take a look at that. The entire signalization system for this intersection for a time completely shuts down, aggravating the situation. Well, I think it's an example of the short-sightedness and poor planning of PennDOT to allow this to open in this particular area here. And look at this light. It turned green for a total of five seconds, 
hardly enough time to step on the gas. Crews worked at getting the signals back on track and traffic moving, but the contractor who installed the traffic lights blames truck traffic and an intersection one block away for some of the problems. I think they're going to have to reroute uh, truck traffic until the situation can be looked into further. Controversy isn't anything new for the Cross Valley Expressway. Take this $2 million bridge, which has been bought and paid for by PennDOT. PennDOT insists that it's saving you money. The only catch is this bridge will collect dust for years because right now there's simply no road to put it on. Bob Reynolds, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County. The tons of garbage here at Lycoming County's Allenwood landfill stinks but the county hopes to smell it all the way to the bank. You see, as garbage rots, it gives off gases, which are released through these vents. One of those gases is methane, and it can be burned. These vents are releasing the methane gas into the air right now. The idea would be to trap that gas and put it in a pipeline and then ship it over that way to the Allenwood Federal Prison. They would use it for heating purposes or to use that gas right here at the landfill to generate electricity. Either way, the county is using the gas to make money and to offset the cost of operating the landfill. The startup money from the state should enable Lycoming County to begin recovering methane here by 1986. It's a common thing. There's a lot of, a lot of landfills uh, all over doing it, and uh, the money's there to get started in it, so everybody says that there's money to be made, so we might as well uh, capture it. If the methane recovery program works, the county would make money off it and help support the landfill. That means that county taxpayers might not have to fork out as much money to keep the place operating. Craig Stevens, Newswatch 16, Allenwood. Newswatch 16 continues with a school board in court. We'll tell you why. Plus, we'll tell you about a young boy who needs your help in his fight for life. During a game, I'm just like a big kid. But off the field, I act like the grown man I really am. I even do my Christmas shopping early. See? My son's gonna love this Hess toy truck. The lights work, and the hose pulls out. And here's the best part. It's got a built-in bank that holds real money. Hey, Joe, the bank opens up. Sure, that's how I get the quarterback. <laughs> the Hess toy truck bank comes fully assembled for $4.99, with an EverReady battery included, only at Hess Station. Star Anatom from Switzerland, protected by scratch-proof metal and sapphire crystal almost as hard as diamond. It is anatomically designed to fit the wrist. It will not blemish. It is a precious object of tomorrow. The new Rado Diastar Anatom, untouched by time. Exclusively at Picardo Jewelers. I love golf, so I love great buys on brand name golf equipment. And Kmart has Spalding Executive and Wilson 1200 LT golf sets for $269. Plus Top Flight XL and Max Fly DDH balls for $13. And a low Kmart price on club divider bags. Why do I love golf? Well, when you only work one night a year, you gotta have a hobby. Kmart, we've got it, Timberland. You can't buy a better boot. Timberland boots for the man who loves the outdoors. Timberland. Timberland boots made with a vibrant lug sole. Timberland. Timberland boots, rugged outside like the men who wear them, soft and cushiony inside. Timberland. Now at Kiefer's Army Navy, Timberland boots at incredible savings. Timberland. Kiefer's Army Navy, Kingston and Berwick. Next, our chief meteorologist, Tom Clark, he'll come up with his forecast. And Tom, I hear some rain is on the way. Mm-hmm. That's right. But the warm air is also on its way out. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh, that's why I have this tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you about that storm coming in for tomorrow after this. Let's go out to the backyard to Tom Clark and get that word on the warm weather saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. right. Well, it does feel colder outside tonight, that's for sure. We had a front go through this morning, but, uh, well, I'll tell you about what's ahead the next few days. Let's first travel down to Durier, about a mile behind me for tonight's Holiday House. Lots of lights on that place. There's the, the fake snowman in the front yard, some candles. Oh, 
lots of lights look at that around the whole house a nice shot it belongs to joe and mary risner at one fifty two foot avenue in dairy a under a cloudy sky now we have a temperature of forty three degrees in my backyard humidity is fifty six percent the wind velocity northwest to ten the barometer up a bit from last night thirty point one six and it's still on the way up high temperature today fifty two mild degrees well above the normal of thirty five thirty seven the low last night six below the record low set back in nineteen nineteen it was a cold night one year ago today well it was a cold day too at twenty seven degrees now the latest cloud photograph coming in showing the clouds over pennsylvania but those clouds will not leak tonight but they are now uh, down in west virginia and kentucky some rain falling down that way but a storm system from the rockies will race quickly through this area late in the day tomorrow and then behind that steering winds will stay west to southwest and because of that i do not see any really cold air the rest of this week but you could see your breath today up in bismarck north dakota where the temperature climbed no higher than zero today that will stay to the north of pennsylvania that kind of air here's my forecast coming up for tonight hey not too cold out there tonight a dry night the stars will remain hidden most of the night uswick southern wayne county the range 30 and 41 courtdale troy upper 20s tonight tamaqua 35 and 43 a woman called me from tamaqua today said she saw a flock of geese flying north and she wasn't celebrating christmas yet so i kind of believe her 35 and 43 a northwest wind tonight sunrise and sunset looks like this on a wednesday 723 the sun only spends about nine hours above the horizon now hmm. mostly cloudy tonight 32 that rain should come in after the morning rush hour tomorrow most of it falling in the afternoon about a third of an inch i think will fall sunshine back on thursday 36 partly sunny on friday maybe some more rain over the weekend but the temperature trend stays above normal but despite that guys i'm still dreaming of a white christmas uh, i cool. think we're going to hold them to that don't you yeah don't you i, I kind of want some snow on christmas yeah Tom. right we'll talk, you could fill that order for us we'll talk about that tonight at 11. okay, okay, Tom. okay. thank you sir Joe Zone's up next with the sports tonight, the record-setting all-pro team. Plus an obscure local basketball team that has one of the most successful programs in the area. Just coined a new saying, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. And when you shop at Acme, you really save dollars. Acme squeezing the price way down on Pepsodent. Save $1.41 on the 8.3 ounce tube. Pay only 88 cents during Acme's special offer. Now that's well worth smiling about. So get down to Acme while the price is down on Pepsodent. As my friend George would say, I cannot tell a lie. Acme's your store for low prices. Honest. The hands of Concord Centurion. The hands of Bjorn Borg. 18 karat gold, quartz. It makes the bulky sports watch passe. Rugged. Water resistant, Swiss handcrafted. The Concord Centurion. Sakati's Jewel Case at 208 Wyoming Avenue in downtown Scranton. Well, it was a big deal that uh, kept Philadelphia in the NFL, but Joe, I understand no money's been uh, changed yet, changed hands, Well, that's right? still the big thing. The uh, city of Philadelphia hasn't come up with any of that $40 million. And, uh, and can you imagine what it must have been like for NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle today to ask the league's owners to come up with millions of bucks for the likes of a Leonard Toes? Well, that's what he had to do today. Toes and his charming daughter arrived at the NFL meetings. Roselle had to convince the league owners to give Toes about $30 million as part of a huge, uh, well, it's just a big debt Toes has accumulated. No word on whether the owners are still laughing or whether they're crying. The decision, though, will come shortly. Might be some argument right now about the best team in the NFL, but I'll tell you what, nobody's got more players on the Associated Press All-Pro team than the Miami Dolphins. Four Dolphins made that team today, including quarterback Dan Marino, the Cowboys' Randy White, and the Giants' Lawrence Taylor made it for the fourth 
straight year. Taylor and company are in the NFL playoffs. Thanks to Marino's heroics last night, the Cowboys needed to win to make the playoffs as a wild card, but they fell behind in the second quarter when Marino hit Mark Clayton for the game's first touchdown. 7-0 it was at the half, and then Marino again to tight end Bruce Hardy, 14-0. Cowboys looked down and out, but they put together a drive, first and goal on the one after pass interference in the end zone. Timmy Newsom scores from there, and it's 14-7. And Newsom again in the fourth quarter. Dallas playoff hopes alive. It's 14-14 right here. Marino and Clayton again put the Dolphins back on top. Two and a half minutes left, 21-14. Miami, he's going to go all the way. But... The Cowboys do not die. Their backs to the wall. Tony Hill ends up with a deflective pass. And with less than two minutes to go, the score is tied again. 21-21. Finally, the Dolphins put it away for good. The Marino-Clayton combo one more time. 28-21, the finest final. Dallas is out. The Giants are on their way to Los Angeles. Here's what the wild card situation looks like. Saturday, the Raiders at Seattle, 4 o'clock Sunday. The Giants at the LA Rams, and that's at 3.30. They've got one of the most successful small college basketball programs in the country, and yet a lot of people around here have never heard of Baptist Bible College in Clark Summit. Tim Carlson has a look at this team, which comprises a lot of young men from all over the country. The record of the Baptist Bible College men's basketball team over the past 15 years is almost unbelievable. They've won the North Atlantic Christian Conference title 13 times, the last 11 in a row. The National Christian College Athletic Association Division II Regional Championship has been theirs the last nine years, getting to the national final four all nine times and winning the national title in 1979. And besides those accomplishments, the defenders under 17-year coach Jim Huckabee haven't lost in their last 78 North Atlantic Christian Conference games. There are some fine schools in our conference and at our level. And for us to beat those people is just as big an achievement as a, a Big 8 team or a big, team, a big 10 team beating those teams consistently. This year, Baptist Bible has another strong club, despite the fact three seniors aren't able to play and practice on a regular basis due to student teaching. But depth has always been one of the team's strong points, with players to fill important gaps. Doug Martin uh, plays forward or guard at 6'3". He has done an excellent job of filling in. Another has been the, uh, the excellent play of a freshman, Andy Dooley. Andy Dooley is a very skilled freshman, one of the very best in this area. Outstanding player. You know, this Baptist Bible Club may have the perfect nickname. You see, the defenders, as they're called, have been able to defend their NCCAA regional title for the past eight years. And there's no reason to think they can't do it again this year. Tim Carlson, Newswatch 16 Sports, in Clark Summit. Lots of basketball tonight. Looking okay. forward to it. Thanks, Joe. Newswatch 16 continues with the Festival of the Light. Just a short while ago, Jews across the world began celebrating their holiday, and we'll join in on that joy in a moment. out our Christmas list. Creating gifts for you. With Christmas packs, all kinds of snacks. And gifts for you know who. You'll find a great selection there of gifts that show you really care. We'll pack and ship them anywhere straight from Hickory Farms. Come in and try before you buy. America loves Hickory Farms where there's always something new. This week, the lights came on for the Big Zair wrap-up sale, and they won't go out until Christmas Eve, because Zair is staying open day and night, non-stop, all week long. Christmas is coming. We're gonna get you harmless. Say that, say. Save 15 to 40% on selected gifts. All day and night we'll be there. 24 hours a day, non-stop, till say Christmas Eve. We'd like to make Zair your store. Say Wrap it up now. We'd like to make Zair your store. Say Finally tonight, it's called the Festival of the Lights. Hanukkah began at sundown tonight, a Jewish holiday that'll be celebrated for the next eight days throughout the world. And here, of course, in our area, Newswatch 16's Mark Davis is live in Wilkesbury to tell us more about this festive season. Mark? Well, the menorah you're looking at right now has been lit every Hanukkah for the last 19 here at the Jewish Community Center in downtown Wilkesbury. And the lighting of this torch is a short time ago started the official celebration. The master torch is lit and then passed among the people before the main menorah is lit. The celebration of Hanukkah marking the Jewish revolution against uh, oppressive rulers back in ancient times. Victory in combat. 
that goes the spiritual miracle of the re-sanctification of the temple and the one cruise of olive oil that lasted for eight days. And the holiday will last for eight days. The Hanukkah holiday is for children, and children took part in taking torches all over the Wyoming Valley to light various other menorahs at other Jewish synagogues and things around. To all of our Jewish friends, a very happy Hanukkah, and now let's go back to Karen and Nolan. Thank you, Mark, and of course, we do wish happy Hanukkah to all of our Jewish friends. That's Newswatch 16 for Tuesday. Bye-bye.